In today's video, I am going to show you how you can install Fastquisi on a Linux or Mac OS environment using Anaconda. So, I am going to use one of these commands. I will use a modified version of this command to install Fastquisi. For those who don't know, Fastquisi is a tool that is used to perform quality control. So, if you have, let's say, Fastio files or if you have BAM files, you can um, run FastQC on these files and then FastQC will perform some analysis and then you can use the report to evaluate your data. So this is an example of a FastQC output. So once you have this um, analysis, you can just check each of these um, statistics or each of these um, analysis and then use that to interpret the data you have and this will also help you to kind of uh, identify problems and then you can resolve them before you start your actual analysis so that's about it so for this story we are going to use anaconda so you need to make sure you have anaconda installed on your system i have tutorials that show how to install anaconda on linux and the mac OS system so make sure you watch those tutorials to set up your pc the links to those videos are in the description box so that's what we are going to do so Let's open our terminal. Okay, I have opened my terminal now. So I already have an Aconda installed. If you don't have an Aconda installed, make sure to check the description box. You'll find a links that uh, links to tutorials that will show you how to install and then set up an Aconda. So let's proceed. So if you have an Aconda installed, what you have to do next is to add Conda channels. We are going to add one channel here, which is by Conda. So I'll say Conda config add channels. And I'll say by Conda. So I have added that channel. I can just confirm. So I can say Conda config show channels. So this will list the channels I have. So I have by Conda, which I just added and the default channel here comes packaged with Conda. So we will leave it as it is. Now let's go on. So now that I have done that, I'm going to create an environment and install FastQC in that environment. So I will say Conda create dash n. And then I will give the environment name. So I will say FastQC, this is the environment name. And then I will specify the tool I want to install, which is FastQC. Okay, so that's what I have. Uh, you can change your name here to suit whatever you want. So this is just the environment name. So you can always change that one. But I prefer to use this name. So that's what I have. So I'm going to execute this command and then I will install FastQC. I am now going to type Y. And then after that, Conda will download all the necessary packages and set them up for us. Okay, first QC has been installed, so we can proceed. So, because the installation was successful, uh, we have this message coming up. Okay, we have a message to tell us how to use first QC. If you want to use first QC, you have to activate the environment. The environment name is first QC, so we have to activate it. And then you can also deactivate the environment using this command. So now we are going to test FastQC. So let's check FastQC out. So let's proceed. In case you have forgotten the name of the environment, you can say Conda env list. And this will list the environments that you have on your system. So we can see our environment here, FastQC. This is where we install FastQC. So if you want to use FastQC, you have to activate this environment. So we will say under activate FastQC. Now the environment has been activated. So we are going to test FastQC. We are going to use the graphical interface and we are also going to use the command line. So we will start with the graphical interface. So if you want to open a graphical user interface, you have to type FastQC. So we will say FastQC. And this will open the graphical interface for us. So it is here now. So when the user interface has been opened, you can come to file and then you can click on open to open the files that you want to analyze. 
if you have some reports open you can save them using this one here save reports okay so this is how we use the graphical user interface i will close this and then i will also use the command line so if you want to run fastqc by using the command line approach then you need to type fastqc and then you also need to specify the file or the files that you want to analyze okay so that's how we use fastqc on the terminal if let's say you are down with fastqc you can deactivate this environment by issuing this command we can see under deactivate and this will deactivate the environment for us so now that you have been able to install fastqc I will encourage you to watch this video that show you how to perform quality control using FastQC.